So hi everyone, today I am going to explain the experiment of uh, distance measurement. It, is, it tells how far an object is from the sensor. So uh, for this experiment, I will be using an ultrasonic sensor, a breadboard, LCD display. Uh, this is the Arduino UNO board and these are the jumper wires. So I will explain the components of ultrasonic sensor. So this has four components. First is the VCC that is the power supply. Next is the triggering pin that is the ultrasonic waves to be sent through this pin. And then we have the echo pin that is when the waves are sent uh, through the triggering pin. Uh, and when an object is detected it gets reflected back and then it will be received by the echo pin. Then we have the ground connection. So with these components, I will be measuring the distance. That is how far the object is from the sensor. Okay, first I will be connecting the 5 volt power supply of the Arduino board to one end of the breadboard. And then I am connecting the ground terminal to the other end. So from uh, we can connect the ground and uh, the power supply terminal of the ultrasonic sensor and I will see here only instead of connecting it here because there is only one pin and, and since I am using a breadboard I will be using this these uh, lines to connect the ground and power supply. Now I will connect the uh, power supply that is VCC terminal to to here because I have connected the 5 volt power supply here so I will take this and connect there and similarly I will connect the ground terminal this side and uh, there is a triggering pin and echo pin okay, there is a triggering pin and echo pin here and uh, you can you can like you can uh, connect wherever you want so here i am connecting it to the triggered pin will go to uh, pin number 13 of Arduino and echo pin will go to pin number 12 that's your wish and as you code uh, you can uh, you can specify it in your code wherever you are uh, connecting it and then connect it uh, accordingly. So the triggered pin is a second pin and I will be connecting it to pin number 13 of Arduino. And also the echo pin to pin number 12 so now we have connected the four pins of the ultrasonic sensor next we will be connecting the LCD display so here I have uh, given a list of the pins and where it will get connected to so you can refer this if you want and take a screenshot. So first the VSS that is the first pin of LCD display. It is connected to Arduino ground. And the next VCC pin is connected to the 5 volt power supply, I guess this side. And the V0 pin to ground again. The next pin to pin number 11 of the Arduino board the next 
आर डब्ल्यू पिन टू पिन नंबर टेन ऑफ ऑर्डिनो नेक्स्ट ई पिन टू पिन नंबर नाइन और यू नो एंड देन डी बी फोर सो डी बी फोर इस यर दैट वन टू पिन नंबर टू डी बी फाइव टू पिन नंबर थ्री DB six two pin number four DB seven two pin number five and then the last pin last before pin that is pin number A two. Five volts. And the last pin to ground. So this is the connection. I've completed the connection. And then uh, you can upload the code. I'll link the code uh, in the description below. So you can copy it and upload the code in Arduino IDE. and then uh, compile it first and then upload it and upload it in the ordinal board and then you can run so hi everyone i'm here to explain the code uh, which measures the distance between an object and the sensor that is how far an object is from the sensor so uh, here i'm using an ultrasonic sensor few jumper wires and and an lcd display and an arduino so first we are including the liquid crystal library uh, because we are using an lcd display we have to include the library and we are creating an object for the liquid crystal uh, that is lcd and the and the parameters here will be the pins connected from the lcd display uh, to the arduino so whatever pins we use in uh, the lcd display will be uh, specified here and then we are uh, explicitly defining the trigger triggered pin to 13 and echo pin to 12 of the ultrasonic sensor uh then this is the void setup function this runs only once and the uh, here the pin mode uh, that is a triggered pin is defined as an output pin and the echo pin is defined as an input pin so here the lcd dot uh, begin of 16 comma 2 so what basically this this does is that it tells us that uh, the lcd display has 16 uh, columns and two rows uh, so this is to avoid confusion while printing and so that the uh, words does not get overlapped and we are setting the cursor to the uh, upper left corner that is the uh, zeroth column and the zeroth row that is in the first line uh, in the beginning of the lcd display uh, and the message target distance will be printed uh, in the lcd display so this is the void loop and it has run uh, many times so the we are creating two variables that is duration and distance so distance is the we'll measure the uh, we'll measure how far the object is from the ultrasonic sensor so we'll measure this distance only with the help of duration so we have to first calculate the duration uh, taken by the sound waves to travel and then the distance will be measured with the help of duration so we are creating two variables that is duration and distance uh, and then the first the uh, triggered pin is set to low this is because the we are defining the triggered pin uh, to an off state that is to a known state uh, so the triggered pin is set to a low voltage and there is a delay of 2 microseconds 
then again the triggered pin is set to high now the ultrasonic waves will be sent to the sensor and it will hit the object and it will get bounced back and received by the sensor again so uh, there's a delay of 10 microseconds because the waves needs to travel to and to uh, to and hit the object and then it it uh, needs to travel back again so there's a delay of 10 microseconds so when the waves gets uh, reached uh, when the waves get received by the object the uh, sensor then the uh, pin is set to low so here the pulse in function uh, calculates the duration the waves needs to travel from the uh, sensor and then hits the object and then gets detected by the sensor again so it takes two parameters echo pin and high so what basically this does is that uh, when the triggered pin is set to low uh, the uh, ultrasonic sensor will be in off state and there's a delay of two microseconds and then again the uh, uh, triggered pin is set to high so that ultrasonic waves will be sent uh, and when there's an object, uh, when there's an object, it will hit the object, and then it, uh, the waves will get bounced back, and then return, uh, it get uh, received by the ultrasonic sensor. So the time taken for the waves uh, uh, to travel to and fro is called the uh, uh, duration, and only with the help of duration we'll calculate the distance so the speed of sound here is 0 0.340 meter per second and when we are converting it to centimeters it is 0 0.034 centimeter per microseconds as the uh, distance traveled is multiplied twice that is uh, the waves travel uh, from the sensor and hits the object and gets uh, travels back again so the dist so the distance travel will be multiplied by twice that is why when we bring it here it will be divided by two so uh, we'll get the distance uh, by this formula that is duration we'll multiply the duration into the speed of sound by two uh, now we are setting the uh, lcd cursor to the second row uh, because uh, in the first row uh, target distance is printed so now we want to print the uh, distance travel so we, we are setting it to the second row uh, and then here we are printing a blank space uh, because if if at all there is a something in the second row this will uh, clear it again we are setting the cursor to the second row uh, then we are printing the distance the whatever the distance we have measured using uh, this formula this will be printed here uh, it is in, it is measured in centimeters so centimeters will be printed and there is a delay of 250 yes thank you so for uploading go to sketch first you have to compile it and if you get if you don't get any error you can upload your code so go to upload click on the upload button and you'll get a notification saying uploading and then uh, you'll get a notification saying done uploading so once you have uploaded the code successfully you'll get a, a message in the LCD display saying the target distance and how far an object is from your uh, uh, the sensor so if you place your finger here it will say that your finger is 2 cm away from the sensor when you move it far further it will get increased so yeah this is our experiment i hope you like it please like share and subscribe to this channel